Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today my mom and I are going to be cooking some turkey chili. Food make me dance. <laughs> You wanna explain what you did? I added the beans, the tomatoes, and some chili sauce to the pot so that can simmer down while we cook the hamburger meat. With some seasoning, she already seasoned it up. She put some onion powder, pepper, and some garlic salt, as well as some garlic powder. Here's those cans. And these are not usually the beans that I would use but this is all they had in Mount Pleasant. We usually use the, this yellow can of Brooks. And today we're gonna be using some turkey chili. So I have to cut up some onions and bell peppers. I cut up all the veggies and now they're in this pot. We're gonna cook it down before adding in the turkey meat. So what we're looking for before adding in the turkey meat is to soften the veggies. So we're sauteing it right now. Okay, so my mom put some garlic salt, garlic powder, and pepper in here, and a little bit of olive oil. You can see the veggies are a little bit different sizes. That aids in the flavor, you guys. Now we're adding in the turkey, and you want to smash it. Now this I have some experience in. I used to help make the ground beef when I was younger. Don't worry about keeping it all intact. You honestly want to make sure that you're chopping it up so that as it cooks, you're mixing it around evenly. Give it some flips here and there. You want it to be all completely brown. So we're gonna add a little bit more seasoning at the same time. You want all the pink to be gone. Okay, so now we're getting to a good point. If you guys see, there's practically no pink in it now. We're just gonna cook it just a slightly bit longer just to really ensure that there's no pink. And then there's also some juice at the bottom. We do not want that after a certain point. This is basically where you just wanna be with your meat though. Even if you see little chunks like that, just go ahead, chop them up, make sure there's no pink in between them. Pour this into here now because it's all good. This is what you want it to look like. This is turkey meat again. When it's ground beef, it's gonna be a little bit darker than this. So just keep that in mind. Then you're gonna go ahead and stir that together. Give it a good mixing mix. In the meanwhile, you're gonna wash your other dishes and then I also have a little Impossible Burger Whopper that I'm gonna eat. This just has to cook down just a little bit. How long do you think it should be? A good 20 minutes, because everything's done, you're just simmering. You want it to all cook together. Of course, we're going to taste it a little bit as we go, see if we need to add anything. We're gonna give it a little taste. It's very tomato-y. So put some more salt in. Another salt. I think just the powders. I'm gonna add some more onion powder and garlic powder to it right now. These just aid in the flavor, so it doesn't really matter how much more you add to it, to be honest, because they're not salty, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna overkill. Oh yeah, it will. You think it will? It will take all your flavor away. If you're looking for the tomato-based flavor, it will take it away. Lid on there and just let it simmer. Let's all cook together now. She's looking like she's a good pussy, pussy, y'all. Pussy, pussy. Turkey chili is a good alternative. I don't eat red meat that much, so I feel like turkey chili is still a good way to get your protein in. I feel like it's a healthier alternative than beef alone. So yeah, just let this simmer for roughly 20 minutes just to let everything cook in together. Okay, so my mom, she came and stirred it a, a few times in between those 20 minutes. She's all done now though. It looks the exact same. It was just to allow this to blend all together, get all the flavors together. So now we're gonna plate it. Also ate a Whopper. <laughs> Half of a Whopper in between that because my mom and I had a coupon from T-Mobile Tuesdays to get a free Whopper when you spend $3 at Burger King. So I added some cheese so far and then I think I'm gonna add some green onion cilantro to it as well. There she is. She looks so beautiful. I'm gonna go try this. Okay, I know it's a little bit dark. You guys don't need to see me to hear how I feel. Oh, 